Four letters, a trippy style, and cubes all over the place. If all this sounds familiar, that's because it should. If you enjoyed the eShop game Edge, you'll get a rush out of Rush for the Wii U. So this is kind of interesting. Rush is an eShop game, just like Edge, and it's a kind of puzzle game, just like Edge. It's also from the developer Two Tribes, just like Edge. So it's kind of like a spiritual sequel. And more importantly, it's also awesome, just like Edge. If you like simple, old-school puzzle games and you have a Wii U, consider this a recommendation. And since they cost $4 combined, consider it a steal, too. So obviously, Rush has a lot in common with Edge, but it's also very different. In Edge, you actually controlled a cube directly, and you moved it through the levels like a platformer. It's not the case in Rush. You still have to get the cubes to an endpoint, but this time there are several cubes. Lots of cubes. And you don't actually control them at all. This time you're more like a traffic cop. A traffic cop in a weird dimension with moving geometry. So each level is its own self-contained puzzle. They have spawn points where cubes are magically created, and there are endpoints where you need to get the cubes. And they move forward on their own, so what you have to do is guide them and change their path. And each level gives you a different set of tools to make it happen. You start off with these simple arrows, which just point the cubes in a different direction. But it's not long before you're using all kinds of crazy stuff. Conveyor belts that shift the cubes into the next row. Rotating pads that move the cubes in alternating directions. There are warp points, stop signs, and eventually you have to put them all together to make things work. So unlike Edge, there's something very mechanical about Rush. It's like trying to fix some kind of complex machine with lots of moving parts. You have to visualize not only where the cubes are going, but how your actions will affect that. And since there's lots of different cubes moving in lots of different directions, it gets incredibly tricky. But when you see it working, suddenly it, it looks so simple. All the gears just work together. You see 25 different cubes moving in 25 different directions, but they all end up in the same two spots. So, like any great puzzle game, the real highlight of Rush is the level design. Every corner, every little cube, it's all there for a reason. And to solve these puzzles, you really do have to visualize how these levels are going to play out. Where Edge's puzzles were more about action and doing, Rush is really just a game about planning. It's a lot more fun than it sounds. Of course, it's also incredibly complex, so it's fortunate then that actually playing it is the opposite. It's simple. Rush is played entirely on the gamepad, entirely by touch. You change your view of the level simply by dragging on the screen. You drop parts just by dragging them onto the puzzle. You can zoom with the shoulder buttons, but other than that, that's it. The complexity of Rush comes entirely from its puzzles, and the controls are so simple and so intuitive, they just get out of the way and let those puzzles take the spotlight. So in that respect, Rush is actually a great Wii U game and really shines thanks to the gamepad. And the presentation's the same story, similar to Edge, but different. It does the whole retro, minimalist, 1980s aesthetic, but Rush is less cold, it's a lot more colorful and slightly less memorable as a result. And the same goes for the music, too. But the game's still very pretty. It's a bright game that uses color very well. It looks fantastic on the Wii U. Yeah, the Wii U's secret weapon is the eShop, and this is just another awesome addition from a developer that's responsible for many of those awesome additions. It could maybe use some more content, but for $2, Rush is a great puzzle game and a fantastic companion piece to another great puzzle game. Throw yourself a cube party with Edge and Rush for the Nintendo Wii U.